Hi everyone, this is Chandra from ChandraRankin.com coming out of the Heartland. Hope everybody had a great day. I'm going to do the topic tonight that I was going to do this morning, but I was having all sorts of technical difficulties this morning, so that is why I did not do that. I did something different. It's a gorgeous night out tonight. It gets dark so fast, so I decided to get the light out tonight so I'm a little bit brighter. But my topic is inspiration. And I've had several people ask me, where do you get your inspiration? How do you think of the things that you talk about every day? <clears throat> and mostly they just pop into my mind, but it's because Partially, I'm paying attention to what's going on surrounding me, but it can literally be anything. And I'm just going to, I didn't even make a list up because I see a topic, whatever I look at. So I'm just going to throw some things out there and it could be a topic for a Facebook Live, for a blog post, it could be an inspiration for an Instagram shot for anything you're you're doing and again this can pertain to business or it can pertain to lifestyle so gear that toward whatever your end goal is oh does anybody else have something that inspires them or something that gets their ideas going how about you Bridget hi Bridget <laughs> I'm talking about inspiration. So, well, here's an example. I This is still sitting out here from, oh, let's see, a week ago Saturday, actually. Just a piece of wood. It seems a lot lighter now. It's probably drying out. This piece of wood that I picked up on a run a week and a half ago. <clears throat> I think the bugs are all out of it now. They were all crawling out of it on me that day. But that was a piece of <laughs> inspiration, believe it or not, for a Facebook Live. Another source of inspiration could be a book that you're reading. And if you don't want to put forth the time and energy to read a book, and I get that, there's only so many hours in a day, but um, you could listen to an, <coughs> an audio book. And that you can do while you're riding in your car, while you're working, if you're doing something a little more monotonous, an audiobook. And trust me, there are probably millions out there to listen to. Um, also, there are blog posts that you can read that other people did that might spark an idea. And I'm not saying plagiarize, but just to think of a, a main topic. And someone might give you a perspective that you didn't think of before. And you can actually talk about their ideas. Just, you know, comment, I got it from blog XYZ and they were discussing whatever. So you can, you can use ideas that are out there without plagiarizing and just talk about that. And maybe pertain my next point, which is use your own life experiences. So take someone else's maybe checklist or list of 10 things that as a how to to create a blog and put your own life experiences toward it because everyone has different life experiences. That is a big one and I, th I think it's a really good thing to combine stories from your own life to maybe the more dry academic lists because nobody wants to just say, okay, here's a list of five things to X, Y, Z. That gets kind of boring. So I always try to add in some sort of story and something happens every day, it seems like. <laughs> and you should be able to draw on, or you can use anecdotes from famous people or whatever. Another source of inspiration for blog posts or Facebook Live or whatever you're doing for content could be quotes, either success quotes or quotes from famous people, whether that be celebrities or political leaders, um, presidents, things like that. And I'm not keeping count of how many I'm doing here. I'm going to create a list and post that, but these are in no particular order. <laughs> Other things are, oh, look around. 
right behind me I've got some rosemary. So if you're a gardener you could do posts on various herbs or various healing herbs because that has does have a healing property to it. Or got some mums behind me which are on their last leg because it's getting cold out. But you could, if again, if you're a gardener or if you're just relating gardening to success or life or whatever your message is, talk about how you grow it, how you, I don't know if you call them pruning them, but you um, pop off some of the buds when they first start coming out so the buds come in more full. So many different things. And there are so many different varieties, colors. There is a topic everywhere. There's a topic. There's a lamp right here. You could talk about light. You could talk about how many times it took Edison to create a light bulb as far as success. You could talk about electricity and how that goes through and how your blog is your hub of your information and everything comes to it like, you know, like it does the electricity through the lamp to make it work. Anything can really pertain to that. I'm trying to think of other things that could fit in with that. I've used um, different checklists and checklists are great because you're like, okay, these are the top five ways to do whatever. Or I've done um, productivity lists, top 10 ways to help create more time in a day. And I'm going to stop for a second and say hello to everybody. I was going to say all the ladies, but then I just saw Brian pop on there. So hello, Brian. Hey, Rebecca, Holly, Judy, Marissa, the whole lineup. Um, again, I'm just discussing a few inspirational ideas to help you think of a topic. If you want to do a Facebook Live or if you do a blog or whatever content you need to do, maybe you're doing a lesson for someone. I've taught lessons to, hey Tracy, you could be creating a sermon or you could, I don't know, you have to do a presentation for work, thinking of different ways to spark that creative spark in your mind to create content for your presentation. What are some other things? Um, they could be the current events. And I would say, I would just caution you when you're thinking of current events, um, realize whether your post or your presentation will be controversial or not, because obviously if you would have done something political recently, that would probably be controversial. You could do it in a non-controversial controversial way, but know what your intent is when you're going through that and know what your, how your audience might take it. So when you're creating content, do you want controversy? Maybe you do. If you don't, or if you just want one controversial piece every once in a while, just select that and pepper those, <laughs> pepper those in maybe so you're not just trying to stir things up for the sake of stirring it up. My intent is to provide content for people that's also helpful in business and life and not necessarily to stir up a controversy because in the end you usually don't change people's minds you just piss people off so just know where you're coming from on that and what you might run into what else it could be something you something and you don't have to um note where you're working, but it could be something that happened to you at work that's funny. And I don't mean anything that would be get you into trouble, but I'll, I'll say an example of my friend Brian, who is on here. He plays with the West Point band and they were on the Today Show the other day and he looked over. They were in the green room before performing. He was sitting next to Sting. I'm so jealous about this and I can't keep... I just wish I was there. <laughs> Hope you told him hi, Brian. <laughs> so, just random things like that. Did you run into somebody that you didn't real you didn't think that you would run into that day? Um, are your post or your content could be pertaining to the time of year? I did a series on the harvest, and that stretched out for eight days. Easy to do, and I'm actually doing blog posts about that now to just kind of 
how I finished the loop there. But right now, it's almost Thanksgiving, so you could do a post about how thankful you are. Or I know that um, Holly, who was watching, and another girl that I know, Carrie, were doing something of thanks for every single day of November. I think of what month it was this month. So tying it in with the time of year is a great way to do content. I mean, you could probably do something, like I said, for every single day of that month. And <laughs> thank you, Bridget. I will, I'll hopefully see you soon. Have fun at work. What are some other things about content? Different landmarks in your life. It could be your wedding anniversary and you could talk about some anecdotal things regarding that or you just went to a wedding I just went to a wedding I could talk about some things about that or let's see if you had a death that of someone that was meaningful to you you could talk about some ways that they impacted you positively in your life or if you are on a journey of weight loss or personal growth or you just bought a house and you're redoing it. Why don't you document those steps that you're going through? And that can provide inspiration to someone else. You don't have to say, oh, I weigh 125 pounds now. No, you can say to someone at the beginning, say you weigh 250 and you want to get down to 175. Someone will see you persevering through that process and say, oh, you know, maybe that was a really great idea that they did X, Y, Z to help them get motivated along that process. Or like I said, you could just motivate them by them watching you every day. There's so many ways that you can create content that are great and unique and you can share ideas with other people that they might not otherwise hear. So <laughs> that is the post I was going to do this morning. If you have other thoughts and ideas of content that you're interested in, and it could be anything you're passionate about too. I keep thinking of more and more ideas. If you're passionate about scrapbooking or about playing an instrument or construction or creating a blog, do a how-to post or how-to video about how to put up siting if you're doing construction or if you're doing a blog how do you set that up what is a blog maybe someone doesn't even know so there are so many things like I said literally everything that you look at can be a blog post I'm looking at in front of me and I said I was gonna kind of wrap it up but I lied <laughs> but um in front of me there are some different rocks that have been collected and some are geodes and you could talk about many things as far as um, what is a rock versus a stone and I laugh because I kind of made a joke about that one time I won't go into that but a rock versus a stone or what is a geode or what kind of earth creates different types of rocks and rock formations I think I could go on and on I still have a really pathetic looking tomato plant sitting here in front of me it looks pretty bad but it still has some blossoms on it, shockingly. There's a ladder sitting here. This is like the land of random right around me here. There's a, a ladder, this chunk of wood. Like I said, some mums and some herbs, um, an old jug, bunch of construction tools, concrete tools. What else? What else we got around here that I could make a blog post about? Um, well, I could probably bore you all night with that. My <laughs> my surroundings here but it is endless you just have to look and you have to pay attention and that's really all because there is content surrounding you and if you can't think of something actually one thing I do every day if I can I actually missed it today but um, in the system that I'm working in there's a wake-up call every morning at 10 o'clock and I just put on my headset while I'm working and I listen to it and it's usually mindset it's not how to but it's just mindset content and it's inspirational and who does not need a little bit more inspiration in the day especially in the morning 
So it is a great way to start the day, hear some familiar voices, and just get going and get jazzed up for the day. Did I say jazzed up? Energized? You know what I mean. So if anybody thinks of content ideas that they like to use, I like to use memes. I love looking up different success quotes. I think I already suggested that, but success quotes, I love them. Um, the other night I wrote and wrote, read, <laughs> not wrote or anything like that. I read an excerpt from a book called The Holy Man and it pertained to my thought process that day and I just wanted to share that and it was an inspirational thing for me. So really anywhere you look, anywhere you look, you can find inspiration if you want to. Because remember what I said when I talked about the RAS, if you're looking for something, then that will let information into your brain. Because out of the two million bits of information you get every second, you can only let in a hundred. So focus on what you, you know, your, I want to look for content. Your brain will show it to you. So I hope you all are inspired to go do whatever you're going to do tonight, whether it is doing something productive or just sitting your butt on the, on the couch watching TV. Sometimes you have to relax. Last night was a night like that for me. But tonight I'm getting busy. So I'll probably write a couple of blogs so I can get them ready to post, not necessarily tonight, but get that ready to go, and write down some other ideas for content for Facebook Lives. If there's something you would like me to talk about, <laughs> I would love to look into it for you. Just let me know. Um, if you like this video, like, comment, or share, and I hope everybody has a great night. I will see you in the next video.